Hello and welcome back to my scrap room. My name is Jennifer Perry and today we are going to be working with a set of pictures from when I went to convention several years ago and we went to Gatorland. These pictures are of my sister and myself and the first time that I met her daughter. And there's my child and this is one of my favorite pictures of my daughter. This is her and she really wanted to do this, but she started freaking herself out. So, it's one of my favorite pictures. And as usual, I love using the Close to My Heart how-to books because sometimes your brain just does not... I'm stuck. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes your brain just does not want to come up with a design on its own. So, I love using the design books. And this one is the Love of Color that just came out this summer. And I literally opened it up to the first layout and went, there's my colors. So I'm going to be doing this layout. The colors that I'm using are pomegranate, sapphire, glacier, and pebble. And if you're not familiar with how the book works, when you find the pattern that you like, regardless of what the color scheme is, if you find the pattern that you like, it'll tell you where the pattern comes from. So this particular pattern that I'm using is from the Make It From Your Heart, Volume 1, Pattern 12. And that is right here. So this is Volume 1 and then pattern 12. And it has the cut lines on it, which is why I referred back to this so I could get all the cut lines. So this is your lighter paper, and then it gradually gets over to your darker paper. Okay, so I already have my base pages down. Now this one right here, on the instructions it says this needs to be uh, 2 by 8 I'm using slightly smaller photographs so I'm going to wait to trim this one down so I know what my exact dimensions are and then I've cut an extra one of this one just in case I need it and then this is the 2 by 6 original cut for this layout it might fit so I'm going to kind of play with those and see what I come up with so I'm going to set these aside real fast Okay, that'll work. Let's get it tapped down. Now I want to bring it in a little bit closer than it says on the instructions because I am going to be adding some stitching. I want to add a stitched border, so and this one is going to go here. I'm going to trim the bottom of that one real fast. Don't need it to be quite so bottom heavy. And this one. Like that. Okay, I'm going to leave these alone for just a moment. I'm going to scooch over to the other side. 
And for this side, it's going to be this one first, and then this one. I'm going to trim you down because you don't need to be quite so big. On the instructions, it says four by six, and I don't want it to be that big. Okay, and then I want to do, there we go, let me test before I do this one, two, three, four, yep. That will work out perfectly. This one, okay. Forgot which way my pattern was going. I'm going to set these aside. So now, the way it's supposed to look is like this. And here's where I get to play with it and dress it up to make it my own. Now, if you notice, I haven't said anything about journaling yet. Because I don't have any journaling yet. I also haven't figured out title. I think I'm going to let the photograph be its own title because Gatorland is right there. So I think I may just start some stitching and go from there. Well, I thought I was going to leave well enough alone, but I'm not going to. I have, I went through my Cricut Design Studio and I found a flower image and I quickly cut it out. Now, I know this is all going to get flattened out when I put it in the album, but It'll make me happy as of right now, and that's the point. So I'm just going through and adding some crease lines really quickly. And then once I do this, I'm going to put a layer of liquid glass over it. I'm 
to make everything shine. And while that's drying, I'm going to start working on the stitching. Okay, so what I have here is just an old Cricut mat that lost all of its sticky. It was n uh, no longer functional as an actual mat. So I took some adhesive spray and I just took the Teflon craft mat and sprayed it down and stuck it to the craft mat. And while, why I did that is because of this hole right here. I'm able to hang this up on the wall, have it accessible, and it stays flat. Then this is just a little cheap paintbrush that I pick up from the hobby store because when I am working with liquid glass, I don't want to have to clean my brushes. So this is a close to my heart liquid glass. I just stuck it into a, I'm sorry, I didn't stick it anywhere. I put a different top on the top to make it a needle point. And all I'm going to do is just put liquid glass everywhere and give this a bit of a shine. Just a very thin coat. Don't stick to my finger. This is just an old, an old pokey stick that's not necessarily my favorite. That I'm just using to hold it down. may also, while this is wet, spray it down with some sparkle spray. But the liquid glass will also give it some strength. So it's not quite as papery, if that makes sense. Now, if you're wondering, the liquid glass will come off the mat with just a little plastic scraper. So when it dries, I'll just go over this little mat with a plastic scraper and it will come completely clean. I don't know if you can see the shine that this is, the liquid glass is giving it. But it is giving it quite the shine and that will stay shiny. These are going to be a little bit harder. Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> you ever tried to put liquid glass on a moving object? I'm going to just move these towards the center real fast. So A, they don't fall off when I move it. And B, so I can spray. There we go. I'm just putting the lid back on real fast. And then this is my shimmer spray. I love this stuff. Oh, helps to give you it in the camera, doesn't it? I love this stuff. I I buy it off of Amazon, and this is the I think I think it's just called Sparkle. So so 
I'm going to just set this aside and let it dry. Now for the stitching. We've had a casualty with my stitching. My favorite stitching template has broken. You know, I told you I've been looking for years to find a replacement. I think we found something that's going to be comparable. It's not going to be an actual replacement. It's going to be comparable. But I had to order it from, I think, Thailand. So there's no telling when it's going to get here. We ordered it about a week ago. So I don't know when exactly it's going to get in. So I'm going to start off this stitching project the way I start off all the others. This is just a 12 by 12 piece of cork that I picked up from the office supply store. It's meant for bulletin boards. But it works out great for a large format pokey pad. Okay, so I'm almost finished with the stitching. I did the bulk of it off camera because it takes a while, but it's a process that I rather enjoy. Let's turn it around this way so I don't hit the camera. It's also kind of a hard angle. You still see, yeah, you can't if I do that. stitches. It's a little bit awkward angle for me, so hopefully you can see what you need to see. And then the flowers are dry, so I can put those together. And I believe that will be it. I'm going to leave a space for journaling. I need to go back and look because normally when I have a series of photographs over multiple pages, I'll journal once for the series of photographs. So I want to check and make sure I didn't already do that situation. And if I didn't, I'm gonna put the journaling right here. But if I did, I'm gonna make sure I don't have some memorabilia or a little postcard or something of that nature, ticket stubs or something to put right there. a basic color scheme straight from Love of Color and the basic cutting guide. Sorry, I didn't want to put myself on the finger. The basic the basic color guide. And just kind of let myself create based off of that. I took my time. I let the layout tell me what I wanted. It's a little bit of a process to set up my Cricut. It's a little bit of a process to do the multiple cuts. But that's part of the fun. That's part of the joy. And if it takes me all day to do one layout, it takes me all day to do one layout. It makes me happy. Almost done. Did my morning chores this morning. That way I could spend this afternoon playing. Let me turn it this way. Get this last stitch in. I'll put this thread away in just a moment. You don't need to watch me do that. Set this aside real fast because I'm going to dig out some glue. 
and the flowers. So they are completely dry. And I did one flower per page. So I think what I'm going to do is, because it's going to be covered up, I'm going to go ahead and use some score tape to help keep this down since I've got the liquid glass and sparkle spray on top. I'm also going to put a piece back here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to also put a piece of foam tape. And again, with it being sparkled and liquid glass, I wanted to give it a little bit of something to catch a hold of. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of liquid glass and put it right in the middle for this little tiny piece. And let me get my tweezers so I can place it properly. Hold it down for just a moment. And there we go. There's one. Go ahead and pick this up with the tweezer real fast and flip it over. And we're going to just repeat the process. And there's a definite way your leaves will fit. You just gotta look at it for a second. There it is. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I need to look at this and just make sure I've got my leaves placed the way that I want them. I'm going to add a little bit of liquid glass on the back. Hold it down for a moment. And there's flower number two. All right, let me shut my liquid glass. 
So here are the two pages side by side. I could very easily just leave it like this and it would look just fine. It, it would be fine. But I remember that I had my, my flowers. So I would like to add my flowers. And again, I'm going to probably add some journaling right here. Where's my, there it is. Same thing with this flower. And for this one, I think I want to do just say it like that. Gator Land. Side one, and there is the flower and the dimension. Gator land side two, a very simple layout. And then side by side. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know there's a hundred and one different things that you could be doing, and I am very thankful that you chose to spend just part of your day with me. Until next time, bye-bye.